Hello friends, merhaba arkadaşlar, hola amigos. My name is Nasi André, I am African, I live in Mozambique, Maputo province. I am African sunshine. And today I decide to show you the two most typical foods of Mozambique, matapa and frango azambesiana. My voice is not good today, but I can't stop showing you the beauties of my country. And today I decide to prepare this food specially for you. For that reason, please, I need you to click like to my video and activate the notification button to get a signal when I upload the new video. But first, subscribe to my channel, African Sunshine. And as you can see, I love capulana. I am African and I love capulana. I use the capulana on my head, and I use capulana as a background, <laughs> background to my videos. Okay, friends. Okay, on this video, I will show you how to prepare the most famous, the most popular typical foods of Mozambique matapa and frango azambesiana and now I will show you the ingredients I will use to prepare this delicious food let's go the ingredients to prepare today are crushed matapa I will show you in other video how to prepare matapa and one onion, garlic, pork chicken, salt, a peanut powder, and half chicken. I decided to prepare a half chicken because it's a meal for two people. And now we have three coconuts. I will use two, two coconuts for matapa and one for Zambezian chicken frango a Zambeziana, okay and now we have this one is the traditional grater that I will use to prepare the coconuts and charcoal cooker as you can see first I have to place the charcoal on the cooker to light the fire Okay. I prefer to cook here because the charcoal fire make the food more delicious. Okay, friends, don't forget to try matapa when you came to Mozambique. Okay, matapa is a delicious food and frango a Zambesiana. Zambesiana chicken. Okay, friends, I will use the plastic to help me to light the fire. Okay, now we're going. While the coal is burning, I will break and grate the coconut. Let's go. 
Okay, this is how we prepare the coconut here in Mozambique, okay? First, we break the coconut. Oh, that's smoky. First, we have to break the coconut, okay? In this way. See? And drink the water, the coconut water, the coconut juice. <laughs> mm. This coconut has sweet water. Okay, this is the first one, and now I will break the second coconut. Okay, it's fine. And now the last coconut. The charcoal fire is getting ready. Okay, let me finalize this. Okay, finish. As you can see, the coal is ready. And now I'm going to put the pot of matapa on. Okay. Let me remind you, when I crushed the matapa, I put five cloves of garlic and crushed them together, okay? Okay. While I wait for matapa cook in the first stage, I will grate the coconut. Okay, let's do it. We use plastic to cover the grater to avoid people getting hurt. Okay, for that reason we use plastic. I'm going to grate the coconut. Okay. Okay friends, let's have a look on our mataba. Let's go. Oh, our mataba start boiling. Okay. You can see as you can see our matata start boiling and now I have to use the wooden spoon to stir and cook evenly okay let's go to take the hood spoon okay now okay which one let me see oh uh, okay we will use this hood spoon Uh, 
done i am almost done creating the coconut and this is the last one the matapa is already and i have to add the coconut milk okay let me finish creating this coconut Well done. Okay. Now I'm going to prepare the coconut milk to add to our matapa. Let's go. Okay, before I prepare the coconut milk, I have to separate the coconut I will use to our Zambezian chicken and the coconut I will use on our matap. Okay, let's go. First, I have to separate. I'm going to put here the matapa for our chicken and remind don't forget is one coconut for the Zambezian chicken and two coconuts for the matap okay and now I guess that the one coconut okay is already here and the co two coconut for our matapa here we will add the water to produce our coconut milk okay let's go to produce our coconut milk we have to use a warm water to better extract the milk okay now we get warm water okay And now mix. Mm -hmm. We have to do this to extract the better milk. We have to separate the coconut from the milk. We have to strain the coconut to separate the milk from the waste, okay? Let's do it. Okay. And now we get the first coconut milk. We have to add it to our matapa cause our matapa is ready waiting for the coconut milk as you can see our matapa is ready and now it's time to add the coconut milk okay Now I prepare, uh, prepare some more coconut milk to add to our matapa. Please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel 
and activated the notification button to get a signal when I upload the new videos. Okay, more warm more water. This is the second coconut milk I prepared. It's the last one to add to our matapa. know i want to know your opinion your experience with matapa if you have a head or not hmm? okay now I am, I am about to finish it the last milk the last coconut milk okay Now I finish it. The coconut milk. Okay, you can see now. And I have to add it to our matapa pot. The last coconut milk. I will let the matapa begin boil to add the peanut powder, okay? While the matapa is cooking, uh, we use garlic and salt and pored chicken to season our chicken. Let's go. The first step is to peel up the garlic. Let me show you how to peel up the garlic. Okay. Now the first one is ready. Which kind of garlic you use in your home? Let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, <laughs> and the plane is passing. Every day I because I live near to the airport. Please. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and activate the notification button to get a sign up when I upload the new videos and click this video. I need you to do this to help me to grow and show the world the beauties of my country Mozambique and of my continent African, okay? 
I finish it pilate the garlic you can see now it's time to match it with a little salt okay don't use a lot of salt because after you will add a chicken powder okay now add salt okay add a little salt garlic and little salt now it's time to match I use the garlic in your home. Let's go to see how is our matava. Okay, let's go. Now we have. Oh, it start boiling. Okay. And now it's time to add the peanut powder, okay? Uh, this peanut powder is about uh, 205 grams of peanut powder, okay? Time to add this, okay? Okay, all added in there. Let's waiting for the result. And after cleaning the chicken, I made I made some cuts. You can see here, here, and here to facilitate the absorption process. Okay. And now it's time to put the seasons, the garlic, salt. Finish it. The season, the chicken with salt, garlic, and a little pot of the chicken. And now it's time to add the coconut milk. Please don't do a lot of coconut milk to this receipt, okay? Just one coconut and a little water like one cup okay of water to mix okay now mix this very well and leave for one hour okay hi friends after one hour it's time to roast our chicken first we have to pre cook our chicken to facilitate the roast process okay okay now we will we will wait uh, like uh, 15 minutes to begin to roast. Okay. I had to change the place I was cooking because now it's dark, it's night. As you can see, uh, I start cooking as a uh, 13, now is 16. I'm still cooking, but I'm finalized cooking and my tapa is about to get ready and then I have to add an onion one onion and salt okay onion and salt and then mix And wait more 20 minutes, okay? As you can see, 
baking chicken is already pre-cooked and now I have to put on the grill to roast. Okay, let's do it. to soak the chicken as it cooks okay don't throw away this one the sauce okay because the sauce will make the chicken so uh, delicious so uh, yummy 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 <laughs> okay now right, chicken okay the chicken is roasting very well. Oh. Okay. Now I have to add some milk. Mm. Our chicken is almost ready. friends I finished cooking and now we can see our matapa and we have the rice and finally our chicken frango zambesiano okay now it's time to Try our food. Okay. Firstly, I add the rice. And chicken. Okay. and finally I will use the coconut husk to decorate our plate okay you have to clean the coconut shells very well 
before use this to to serve the food okay oh sorry mm. Look so how it looks. Friends, now is the most important time to try this food. And I used to eat traditional food using my hands, okay? Let's do it. Mm. Mm. It's so delicious. This food is so delicious. Please, please, please don't forget to try to eat this when you come to Mozambique. You will like it. And now it's time to say goodbye. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and activate the notification button to get a signal when I upload new videos and click like to this video i need your help to grow thank you for watching bye bye see you on the next video okay